Threes One Two Three doing my game of setup. This video will be in two parts. This is part one, which shows you the actual setup. First thing you're gonna need for the setup is an Easy Cap capture card. Looks a bit like this. Basically, all there is is a black USB box with a protective cap on the end. It's really important that you keep all that protective cap because the end is really flimsy and will snap off easy. Okay. And then on the other end of the box we have four cables. We have the yellow, red and white audio video cables. Which you're probably familiar with. And there's also a black S composited cable which you don't really need. So yeah, that's the easy cap. About £5 on Amazon. Next thing you're going to need is the scar plug which you use for your games console. So mine is the PS3. So I'm using the PS3 thing, you've got the audio video cables, and you do actually need a scar box that they're plugged into. It's really important for the next thing that you're going to need. So the next thing I use, which you don't actually need for easy cap, but I find it useful, is a scar adaptable switch box. Basically it's just a box, £1.50 off Amazon, really useful. It basically means you can play your games on your telly while you're playing it on the laptop at the same time or your computer. And you got the ports on the front for the um, for the audio video cables and the switch, and then there's a scar thing on the bottom. Okay, the next thing you need is a set of three phono by three phono cables. Now these are important because you do actually need these to work the this adaptable switch box. If you've got a Canon camcorder or anything, you usually get them in the box just so you can upload your camera footage straight to the computer. But if you are going to buy these on Amazon, they're about £6. They are quite dear, but I'm sure you can find them somewhere else for a cheaper price. Luckily, I had a set of these lying around the house, so I didn't have to pay for them. Yeah, as I said, any camcorder, Canon camcorder, usually come free with them. But yeah. Next thing which I, I use, which, as I stated before, it's to protect the easy cap nib, is an extendable lead for your USB hub. Basically, you get one of these with the actual easy cap. It's not silver. I'm using a silver one today because I've actually lost the one that comes with it. But basically, your easy cap plugs into it and it extends it and just basically protects the nib of the USB on the easy cap from snapping off in your computer. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is take your easy cap, get the cables off the end of it, get all your 3 phono, 3 phono cables, any end, doesn't really matter. And basically just plug them in, red to red, yellow to yellow, white to white, obviously. So we'll just put that in there like that. Okay, now you should have your easy cap connected to one end of the three phono, three phono cables. Next thing you're going to do is take your adaptable switch box and plug the other end of the um, three phono, three phono cables into the adaptable switch box. Again, into the corresponding colours. So red to red, yellow to yellow, white to white, you know what you know what to do. And then you should have your three follow three follow cables linking your easy cap and your scar to the switch box together. Okay, so now you want to take the scar off your console, whether it's PS3, Xbox or Wii, and you're gonna stick it into the bottom of the adaptable switch box. Just like that. So now what you should have is the adaptable switch box with two AV cables running off it. You've got this one which goes into your console, this cable, and then you've got the ones that run off onto your easy cap. Just like that, so you just put that down for now. Now take your extendable USB hub and stick that on there, just so it gives more room and more flexibility. Okay, so now you should have a really, really long line of cables. Now it does it does have a lot of cables, the easy cap capture card. So you should have stick that into your laptop like that. And stick the other end into your console, which is my PS3 for now. It's not actually plugged in, but just to, just as a demonstration. Okay, so now you're gonna take the adaptable switch box and you're gonna put it where you probably guessed you're gonna put it. You're going to plug it right directly into the back of your TV. So there's just some footage of the actual thing being plugged in. 
there's the that little switch box and you're going to simply put it into any AV scar, it doesn't really matter, just any AV, AV port that you've got just put that around there now I'm actually going to start it up, but when you start your TV up just basically go onto your start, SCART menu like you usually would if you were opening your PS3, if you're usually on SCART or DVD player or anything and then it should show your PS3 screen now Part 2 of the video will show you how to set it up on the computer and how to get the best quality out of the program that comes with the EasyCap. So stay tuned for part 2.